studio for my final thoughts over the Under Armour Spawn. I'm gonna try to make this one short and sweet. So we all know Under Armour's signature foam, Micro G, is implemented throughout the shoe, especially in the cushioning department. And what do I think of it? It's definitely a comfortable foam. It does its job when it comes to shock absorption and energy return when bouncing back. The only issue I had when it comes to midsole cushioning and how it was set up was the heel. The heel was slightly on the clunky side. Proportionally, it was just noticeably heavier than the rest of the shoe. And upon heel strikes, you just lose all sense of court feel. And when the heel is clunky like that, your heel to toe transition just becomes segmented. So instead of a more, you know, smooth uh, heel to toe transition like that, no, you can reverse it. Uh, bring it back, smooth, you feel me? You get more of a boom, boom, one, two, when it's segmented. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal, you know, in a tough game situation or just a regular game situation, you may not even notice it. But if we're critiquing the performance of a hoop shoe in hopes of finding that perfect hoop shoe, then, you know, it's definitely worth noting. Now let's move on to the whole anatomically correct concept. You have a three layer system of synthetics and mesh fused together and strategically placed according to the high contact areas whereas other areas are more lightweight and breathable. Sounds good, right? This is actually where I have my second complaint. The toe box area just really wasn't form fitting. It felt really loose as if I was wearing like Shaq's Roshi runs. If you're gonna implement mesh or any form fitting material for that matter on a basketball shoe, Make it where it compresses the foot so you have some sense of containment. Lower the height of the toe box so when the player inserts his foot, you don't feel that much dead space and you feel really locked in. And while I'm being picky, this also should be a standard for every hoop shoe. Hopefully all brands take note of this, your lacing systems. Either put slits in them or flexible material in spots the upper tends to pinch and crease. Hyperdunk 2013 and the Superfly 2 executed this nicely and it really makes a difference. The range of motion is increased. You get a nice one-to-one -one movement with your shoe while you play because for one, the shoe is more flexible and form-fitting like this shoe was supposed to be and overall it's just more comfortable. The traction was really good. It's aggressive. It doesn't disappoint on any surface. I was actually really impressed with the way it bit the asphalt on the outdoor courts. But even then, I wouldn't recommend it for you outdoor players just because of how thin the grooves are. Me and Jay Jones, the guy, one night, went to go get a 30 minute shooting workout, I had these on already, and that 30 minutes saw signs of losing traction. So it may not be the best of ideas. But as far as grip, coverage, ability to perform on different surfaces, the spine gets it done. Heel lockdown is great, no heel slippage whatsoever. The shoe does run true to size and I'm basing that purely off the length and the width. But if I had the chance to do it again, I would go a half size down. That's just me personally because now I know that that mesh is gonna stretch out and leave some dead space. So like I said, it runs true to size, but I would go a half size down. Aesthetically, I gotta give it to it. It's one of the most unique hoop shoes to drop this year. Definitely a favorite of mine in that perspective. The design and the color blocking, it, it just allows for a lot of dope colorways. So rating the Under Armour Spawn on our three tier rating system, trash, gets the job done, and Kick Genius stamp of approval, the Under Armour Spawn definitely gets the job done. The price is set at 125, which I feel like is a good buy, but in the end, only you can decide for yourself. So hopefully this video helps you out on deciding whether the Under Armour Spawn is right for you. If it did, hopefully you can pick it up, lace them up, and kill them on the court. So that wraps it up. It's Trey from Kick Genius, and I'm out.